this lecture we will learn more about the anonymous windows or anonymous apex code from the vs code so how to execute this small code or large amount code under the vs code i will show you so let's get started so if you are a salesforce developer and you are wondering about the anonymous window so you can find out anonymous window from here as well so first of all let me explain the developer console and after that i will move into the vs code so here just click on this gear icon click on this developer console under the developer console under debug tab you can see open execute anonymous windows once you open it now you can see another window is come here right so suppose if you want to print something here or if you want to execute something here so you can do that let's say i want to print something let's say system dot debug and this is demo something like that and uh, how to execute just you have to click on this execute and open the log so you have to check this first and just click on this one and click on this debug only and now you can see the output that is called this is demo so this is the way to execute anonymous code under the developer console in salesforce but how to execute this anonymous code into our vs code so let me open my vs code now you can see this is a vs code right and uh, here in this folder structure you will be see here script so under the scripts we have apex and sql so just click on this apex click on this hello apex here you can see three defined snippets so this is three defined snippets so you have to enter something here let's say my name rohit kumar something like that and how to execute that uh, this is we can execute number of line of codes with the help of some commands so let's say i want to execute some selected code line number 9 i want to execute so how to execute just control shift p in windows and search execute execute anonymous apex with current selected text so this is the command so you have to select it and once you select it under the output you can see this is the output of the anonymous window and just you have to search here debug so how to find out debug here just uh, once you click on this panel control f and search debug so once you click on this debug you can see the debug here and also our output that is called hello world so you can execute selected line in vs code as well so here we have another option how to execute this line of code at a time so you can execute this line of code with the help of commands so you have to press control shift p and search execute anonymous apex with editor contents so you have to select this first option so just click on this one and once you click it now you can see lots of outputs here right so here you have to check these kind of outputs so we will see here two outputs so how to check this output so let's say my name is so i want to search this my name is under this debug so control f and search my name is so under the my name is you have two types of items my name is like that so one is a temporary and after that you can see the original one that is called this is the output my name is rohit so you can execute at a time also you can see the hello world if any hello world is available in this log or not you can check also so how to check now you can see the hello world so you can execute single line of code or you can execute multiple line of code more than one line so this is how we can execute anonymous code under the vs code right so that's all in this session i will see you in the next one